with the indefinite integral if we have integral i is equal to the uh, integral x in exponent x dx let's uh, make a substitution x exponent x is equal to the e ln x in exponent x but according to the rules or properties of the logs this x we can put in the front of the ln and this can take form e is in exponent x ln x now instead of the function x exponent x dx we are substituting with the function e in x ln x which is going to log i or integral e in x ln x dx now we are trying to to do more uh, work and uh, we already know the form of some function in Maclaurin theory we can write uh, like for example the familiar one the function e of x we can write v e in exponent x we can write uh, like 1 plus x plus x square over 2 factorial plus x3 over 3 factorial plus x4 over 4 factorial and this expanded form we can write as a function e in x is equal as a sum uh, of n equal to 0 to infinity x of n in exponent n over n factorial but this x in exponent n over n factorial is a, a finite term that can generate uh, all the other terms here but now instead of e of x instead of x here we are going to substitute like we have this function here x ln x instead of the x here instead of the x here we are going to substitute with the x ln x and when we substitute the x ln x we are going to have 1 plus x ln x plus x ln x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x ln x uh, in exponent 3 over 3 factorial plus x ln x in a 4 over in exponent 4 over 4 factorial the final term that they can generate all the terms is the x ln x in the n over n factorial and now this function we can write as a e x ln x is equal to the sum n equal to n equal to 0 to infinity x ln x in exponent n over n factorial and now we go into the next slide and instead of the integral e in x ln x dx we write the integral uh, sum of n equal to 0 to infinity x ln x in n over n factorial but as we see here uh, 1 over n factorial is a numerical value and we can uh, put in the front here we can uh, factorize as a sigma n equal to 0 to infinity 1 over n factorial what uh, remain inside the remain inside the just the variables with respect to x x in exponent n ln x in exponent n dx and now we are making uh, some substitution because we want to search to search for a more familiar integral than this one because this one we cannot solve it so let's make some substitution let the x is equal to the e in uh, power minus s now if we are uh, differentiating this equation both sides dx is equal to minus e in exponent in exponent minus s ds and uh, ln x in uh, n we can uh, because x is here e minus s instead of x we are substituting by the ln e in exponent minus s but, but according to the rules of the logs this minus s i can put in the front and it can be minus s ln e but ln e is equal to one one time minus s is minus s in exponent n and now we are uh, performing this uh, substitution integral x in exponent x dx is equal to the sum of n equal to zero to infinity one over n factorial integral and now instead of this uh, x in exponent n we are substituting uh, e minus s and this n here is uh, e in exponent minus s in exponent n and now minus s in uh, n now we have uh, ln x in uh, n but the, instead of ln x in uh, n we write minus s in uh, n so we have a uh, here and now instead of dx so dx is uh, here is equal to minus e in exponent minus s ds we substitute it here and we got uh, this form now but uh, what we have now we have a minus s in exponent n is a alternate series and this uh, because it's alternate series we can uh, factorize minus one in exponent n and this minus here what we have we can factorize in the front and it's going to look like it is in the next slide here minus well, as I said I'm going to factorize and minus 1 in exponent n this is alternate 3 
but and the rest everything rest we are writing it for part it is just a those minuses i put in the front so but uh, because this is alternate series and it, one term is going to be positive negative positive negative even if i'm multiplying by this is again it's going to be negative positive negative positive of the same alternate series so this minus doesn't play a big role that's we are taking away so it looks more uh, better if i'm taking minus one in n and everything uh, the rest I will rewrite in the form of it is here. And but here we have a minus s in exponent n and the base is the same and here the base is the same e in minus s. So what we are doing here because of the base is the same and when we are multiplying we write the base and we add the exponents according to the rules of multiplication. It's going to be e in exponent minus s and th uh, minus s. And minus s if we factorize minus s and it's going to be minus s times n plus 1 as exponent. And s in n I have here, so we are just rewriting the form of it is, and ds carry, we carry here. So now, uh, what we are doing, we are substituting that t is equal to n plus 1 times s. And when we differentiate uh, for equation, we get the dt is equal to n plus 1 ds. But now we want to see, uh, to solve this equation for s, how it looks at the, the, uh, the, the relationship with the t. s is going to be equal to t over n plus 1. And if I wanted to solve for ds, this equation here, ds is going to be equal to dt over n plus 1. And now those uh, substitution I'm going to perform here. But uh, first of all, let me go into the next slide and to see how did I get e in minus t. Everything in the front I just uh, I just rewrote this expression here, but uh, here instead of e in minus uh, minus s n plus one uh, n plus one times s, I substituted by t, and this get e in minus t. So we already have here e in minus t, and the other part was s in exponent n. Instead of the x, I write a t over n plus one, but here is in exponent n, and t over n plus one in exponent n what we already have here. And the last one, ds was dt over n plus 1, and here we have 1 over n plus 1 dt, or dt over n plus 1 is the same. And now we rewrite this part in the way how it is, and here we are going to do some work, e in minus t. And t in exponent 10, time 1 is t in exponent 10, and when we multiply these two parts, this n plus 1 is in exponent 10, and this n plus 1 is in exponent 1. Because the base is the same, I rewrite the base and I add the exponent. n is here, plus 1, n plus 1 dt. But here, n plus 1, we see is numerical value, and we are uh, factorizing in the front of the integral, and this is going to be 1 over n plus 1 in exponent n plus 1. And e minus t, t and dt remains inside the integral. So now, we have uh, this... Uh, this uh, coefficient in the front is a numerical value that we don't need to integrate, but inside this part we have to integrate. And we take uh, just this integral for now, and we want to solve it and to see can we find some uh, familiar integral. And now integral e in minus t, t and dt. So we do some substitution. Let the u is equal to t in exponent n plus 1. And then we differentiate this we get a du is equal to n plus 1 times t and dt. Then dt, if I want, for example, to solve for dt, when I put, uh, divide everything by n plus 1 tn whole equation, we get that dt is equal to du over n plus 1 tn. And now we are substituting this. Instead of, for example, uh, instead of, uh, of a d, dt, I am going to make a du n plus 1, what I already have here. And instead of t here, we are plugging uh, we are plugging u uh, u in one over n plus one, because we already have this u in t in exponent t n plus one. We just mix in this one, and when we multiply the exponent by the reciprocal one over n plus one here, n plus one will n plus one simplifies. We get just t, but if I multiply this exponent one by 1 over n plus 1, we get a u in 1, in 1 over n plus 1. And whenever it was t here, I am substituting by a u, which is a u in exponent 1 n plus 1. And instead of t is u in 1 expo in exponent, u in exponent 1 over n plus 1. 
So, and this TN here, I will be writing TN, we don't do anything, but instead of DT, we write this DU, and it's right here. And TN with the TN, we can simplify. What remains? Remains uh, E in exponent minus U in exponent one over N plus one, DU over N plus one. But this N plus one, one over N plus one, we are factorizing in the front and we get this one here, one over n plus one, and inside we have a just a, a integrand that is a e in exponent minus u in exponent one over n plus one du. And now this is a familiar. This, uh, solving this a special integral, it has a solution of the incomplete gamma function, which is a minus n plus one gamma n plus one times u in exponent one over n plus one. And now, but this is a solution just for this part, but this one over n plus one, if you write everything here, one over n plus one is right here. And the solution of the integral e in exponent minus u one over n plus one is the solution, which is here. And now n plus one with n plus one, we can simplify. What remains is minus gamma n plus one time uh, comma u in exponent one over n plus one. And now we're going to see a little further. So now, when we are undo the substitution, and instead of the of the t what we had before, it was equal to one over one in exponent uh, one over uh, n plus one. And instead of this here, we can substitute t, and the function e minus t t n dt is equal to the minus uh, function uh, gamma n plus one comma t so here is the result but now what we are doing we already saw this a little bit early x in x dx was equal to minus one in a n sigma n equal to zero one over n factorial time one over n plus one in exponent n plus one and the integral this integral here but instead of the integral we are going to substitute with a solution here and we are when we substituting this solution we get the solution here plus c and but here we didn't finish everything because we have a t here and the function we wanted to solve with respect to x and this t in order to uh, to redo the substitution to go back to the original variables we have to go back and to see what we substituted a little bit early a little bit early we substituted t is equal to n plus one times s and ln x in the n is equal to minus s in exponent n. If we are going back a little bit, we can see the substitution. We can see, for example, t is equal to n plus one times s. We already have that down. And if we go a little bit up, we had this substitution. ln x in the n is minus s in the n. And when we did all this, uh, when we multiply the, the exponent with one over n, then we get ln x is equal to minus s. And let's go back again to the last one when we saw the uh, substitution. So we already saw t is equal to n plus one times s, L and ln x in exponent n is equal to minus s n. As I said before, when I multiply those exponents with reciprocals, one over n, we get ln x is equal to minus s. Respectively, now instead of the s here, I'm substituting the minus ln x and we get the t is equal to minus n plus one times ln x and instead of this t here we are substituting this value and in the end we got to the final result that the integral x in exponent x dx is equal to minus one in exponent n sum n equal to zero to infinity one over n factorial time n plus one in exponent n plus one time uh, function minus a gamma n plus one comma minus ln x n plus one plus c. This is the final result.